Okay, taking possession of a piece of land is a very important part of taking ownership of that piece of land. So my name is Okwe Oluwa Oni, and um, welcome to this channel. Um, like, share, subscribe. So we started a series um, some couple of days ago where I talked about um, the mistakes to avoid when buying a piece of land in Nigeria. And this um, series was started and born out of the fact that we've done land transactions for the past 12 years. I um, mean, almost 40 projects in terms of land transactions. So we've seen all kinds, especially in Nigeria, from Lagos to Oko State, to the north, to the south, south, and to the east of Nigeria. So we've done transactions in all these places. So some of the lessons that we have learned is what we have put together to share with um with also that we will not make a uh, mistake the same way we have made mistakes and we have learned from it okay so taking possession is what we are looking at today we've looked at purpose we've looked at budget we took at a whole lot of stuff but today we are looking at avoiding the mistakes of taking possession because a, a land and basically real estate transaction are what when you are buying you are basically taking the bundles of rights. You don't, unlike phone, I've shared this over and over again, you get to a phone store, you buy the phone, and you go away with the phone. But land, you buy the land, you buy the real estate property, in this case land, you leave it there and you leave. <laughs> okay, so in some cases you have to leave, okay? But you, when it comes to um, real estate transactions and land transactions, you don't pack the land along with you so what then or how then do you take possession of your land how do you claim ownership of your land so basically you do it by um documentation possession and occupation so i'm starting with possession tomorrow i'll be talking about documentation and after that i'll be talking about occupation these three things are three fundamentals when it comes to these rights um ownership rights of land Okay, um, taking possession of land is very important part of ownership when you are buying a landed property in Nigeria. So you don't joke with taking possession and that is what I'll be guiding you on how not to make that mistake, okay? How to take possession is also very, very important. How you take possession is also very, very important. So I often share with uh, people, uh, I think during negotiation and buying, I encourage you not to finish paying. For instance, now, Probably you, you have a, maybe 100 acres, you are buying for 100 million as a case in study right now. Um, you, are pay, you don't pay them once, right? You pay over a period of time, especially when you are paying or you are buying a land that is not fenced already. When you are buying a land that is not fenced already, you don't pay off once. Don't make that mistake. Or you are buying from the primary market. Don't pay off, even though you have the money, don't be desperate to pay. That is very, very important. It's a buying mistake that you must not make. And it now we play out when you are taking possession, right? So in, in taking possession, probably you are paying 100 million over 10 months or 100 million over a particular period of time. As you are making payment for that land, you are already taking possession. So there are various ways you can take possession, which I, I'm going to touch on right now. But that is it. Because the importance of some of the importance of taking possession is that it will help you to even determine whether you are buying the right thing or not. For instance, in one of the previous videos I did, there's a particular project that we wanted to do. One of the things we did is say, guys, before we pay you, we're going to put our signboard on this land. That is what we are going to do. We're going to put our signboard on this land. And the family agreed because we wanted to know whether they are vested interest, whether there will be threat of encroachment or whether there will be um, 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 trespass. Yeah, if anything happens to the signboard, which means that the ownership of that place is already being threatened. And that is very, very, very important. So taking possession simply means creating presence on the land. It will help you to define and determine ownership and boundaries of your land. Because sometimes it's not that there's, there's ownership. In fact, there's a case in point we are currently facing right now. The family owns the land, but there's a boundary dispute. And uh, because we are buying from primary market, uh, these are some of the challenges buying from primary market. A lot of people don't want to go through 
that challenge. So somebody else should buy, sort out the documentation and all of those things. So because we're buying from a primary market, there are two families that are contending for similar boundaries. Okay, these are challenges you face um, when you buy from both. Taking possession is very, very important and sorting it out too is very, very important. So what are the ways you can take possession? Number one, you can take possession by fencing the land. Okay, fencing the land with block. That's number one. That's also very, very important. It depends on the size of your land too. And you can do your fencing in stages. What that means is that anybody that sees that this particular land has been fenced, you will know that there's a presence here already. So the risk of somebody coming to resell, the risk of somebody contending with you, you've minimized it, if not eliminated it, okay? So you, you can do block fence around. There are different ways you can do block fence. You can do, just start by excavating the, 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 the trenches for the fence, fence work, then do it maybe just three layers, two layers, four layers, and gradually to de determine the, the height you, you, you really, really um, um, desire, okay? So that's one of the advantages of um, fencing it will help you to protect that land and whatever is within that land okay so other ways is that if it's a plot of land i often tell people because it cost it what it will cost you to fence that land that same cost you can use it to erect a foundation and be building your house gradually especially when you have determined what you want to build on that property okay and one of the other ways that you can do especially when you are doing land banking and it's a massive expanse of land okay is, is a good way for taking possession and occupying the land. I remember um, I encountered a man who bought a project for him and uh, he, he has held on to that land for almost 30 years. And the way he was able to take possession and know his boundary. Remember, I said possession will help you to define your boundary. Okay, it, so your will help you do that, but to keep knowing that boundary over and over and over again, taking possession will help. He said then, when he bought that land, it was almost impossible for him to, to fence the land because of the cost of fencing. So what he did was that he brought a guy from somewhere in southwest, uh, south-south Nigeria, rather. And um, because of the guy's experience, very young chap, he brought him in. So please, the job he gave to that guy is that, please help me to be checking the boundary of this land against the encroachment all the time. And the guy, being smart, thought to himself that for me to be able to keep checking this boundary all the time, I need to know the boundary, but my boss at that point in time could not um, erect fence or do something to define the boundary of the land. Of the land, so what he did was that he get he got um, a, a malina tree seed. So there's a tree called malina tree. They are anytime you plant them, they are always very um, noticeable. So you plant them around the boundary of the land. The land is over 200 acres planted them around, it was a major project, and they planted them, as I'm talking to you, most of those Melina trees are still there now. You know, it helped to demarcate and define the boundary of that land. So nobody, as soon as, there's no way you can encroach into that land, you will have to cut a Melina tree down, <laughs> okay? So and as soon as he's hearing a chainsaw, somebody wants to cut a Melina tree down, he knows that that's an encroachment that is about to happen. On their land okay so that was one of the ways they were able to um, um to possession of the land there are several ways right but i'm just going to touch on just very few so other ways was um, you, you can use a barbed wire okay to fence the whole land round so you compare the costs with block fencing and the barbed wire fencing or you can do do a wooden fence too to fence it round so, i mean um, i've visited someone before he has about three acres and he said when he bought the land, whether you use the land for farming, but he realized there were a lot of wood, uh, hardwood on the land and all of this. He said he's not interested in the hardwood. So somebody just sold an idea to him that, oh, why not get um, um, some millers to come and pull down all this wood? They are going to erect, put them down for you, cut it on your land, and put them into planks. And I mean, he literally used the plank to fence the whole I mean, area ground and you see when you are fencing your land too you fence in the area of priority for instance there are going to be major places where people can encroach from places from the back and all of those things trespasser can pass through and it, in fact it will help you to even make deterrent from animals and all of those things so you can also do that uh, 
uh, by fencing, right? So, so he was able to use the plant to fence the whole land around, and that is another way of taking possession, okay? So what are the importance of taking possession of your land? Number one, it helps you to fight encroachment and encroachment risk and the risk of trespasser. So people just trespass on your land, people can just come and start planting on your land, and before you know it, they'll tell you they are the owner of the land. So taking possession will help you to uh, fight against that. Number three, two, is that it helps you to add value on the land. It helps you to add value on the land. So a fenced land and a land that is not fenced does not sell for the same amount. Okay, it helps you to add value on the land. And anybody that is coming to a land that is fenced, is gated, they often believe and have the sense that, oh, these people really own this property. So that confidence is there, right? So number three is that it helps you to protect your rights. The protection of your right. I mean, I remember I was telling someone, somebody came to one of our property, fully fenced, gate and all of that. And said that their father owns a property here, blah, blah, blah. And I said, ah, are you normal at all? Where were you when we were clearing this land? Where were you when you were digging the fencing? No, you were, were taking possession of this land. I mean, you didn't show up, your father didn't show up, now you are showing up. I mean, you must be joking. <laughs> so it protects your right, and they never showed up again because, I mean, even if you take the matter to court, in as much as you have taken possession, possession is, is a major ownership of a property. So even if there are going to be any contention, the fact that you have taken possession, it has given you some leverage and edge already. <clears throat> Number four, is the fulfillment of regulatory provision. Take for instance, you bought a land, you got some documentation. There's possibility in that your documentation, you'll be told that you need to take possession before, within five years, within three years, within four years. So sometimes it's embedded in the regulatory procession, um, a provision of government documents, CROs, allocation letter, and all of that. All of that. So it's usually embedded in them. Then number five, legal ownership is confirmed. You don't know who owns what until you take possession of your land. That's the truth. It might be bitter, but it is the truth. You don't know who owns what until you take possession of your land. You can be creating the land and somebody will just show up and tell you that uh, they are the owner and all of those things. So things like that do Happen. Okay, so my name still remains of Pe Oluwa Oni. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. So, see you again tomorrow where we'll be talking about another mistakes you need to avoid when buying the land in Nigeria. Bye.